What if it were possible to cool a fridge that is a ubiquitous appliance in every kitchen without relying on gas or chemicals, simply using magnets? This may sound like something from the future, but researchers are already working on this very technology. Not only does this promise a more efficient cooling method, but it could also solve a critical environmental issue with the current refrigeration systems. Yes, even heat pumps, which are commonly touted as an energy efficient alternative, still come with their own set of problems. The need for an alternative to conventional refrigerants is becoming more urgent. Caloric cooling, specifically magnetocalorics, has emerged as a promising solution. A research team in the United States has stated that magnetocaloric technology is on track to replace current coolants with a system that is both more efficient and environmentally friendly. But how is it possible to control temperature using a solid material instead of a refrigerant gas? What makes magnetocaloric cooling so unique? And could this technology truly redefine the concept of a fridge magnet? Magnetocalorics might not be a household name just yet, but it is gaining ground at an impressive rate. There are already some commercial products that utilize magnet-based cooling systems. A German company, for example, has begun selling beverage coolers powered by magnets, and another company is offering pre-orders for a two-door commercial refrigerator. Additionally, a French-German company displayed a fully functional magnetocaloric fridge at a trade fair last year. These developments are an indication that this technology is slowly transitioning from research labs to consumer markets. The concept of caloric cooling is not entirely new, but the introduction of magnets into the equation adds a unique twist. The traditional cooling cycle in refrigerators and HVAC systems, known as the vapor compression cycle, has been around for centuries. This system relies on phase changes, a natural process where heat is transferred by changing the state of a refrigerant from gas to liquid and vice versa. However, this process is dependent on the use of refrigerants, typically hydrofluorocarbons, HFCs, which have significant environmental drawbacks. These refrigerants contribute to climate change and ozone depletion, making it clear that a more sustainable cooling solution is needed. Caloric cooling, unlike traditional systems, eliminates the need for refrigerants by using materials that change temperature when exposed to external forces. For example, elastocaloric materials change temperature when mechanically stressed, electrocaloric materials react to electric fields, and magnetocaloric materials respond to magnetic fields. All three of these techniques follow a similar pattern. A material changes its temperature when subjected to an external influence. Magnetocalorics in particular has gained attention due to recent advancements. By using a magnetic field to control the temperature of certain materials, researchers have been able to create cooling systems that mimic the operation of traditional refrigerants without their negative environmental impact. One of the key materials used in magnetocaloric devices is gadolinium, a rare earth metal known for its ability to respond to magnetic fields. Gadolinium has long been used in nuclear reactors and medical imaging, but now it is also being investigated for its potential in everyday cooling applications. The research into magnetocaloric cooling has already yielded promising results. For instance, a team from the Ames National Laboratory in the United States developed a magnetocaloric heat pump, MCHP, that matches the weight, cost, and performance of existing vapor compression heat pumps. This particular device uses gadolinium as the magnetocaloric material. The working principle behind this technology involves rotating magnets that manipulate the gadolinium particles, causing them to heat up and cool down in a cycle similar to how traditional refrigerants operate in a compressor. This breakthrough represents a major step forward for magnetocaloric technology. Magnetocaloric refrigeration is not just confined to laboratory experiments. Commercial companies like Magnoric and Magnotherm in Europe are also pushing forward with their own prototypes. Magnoric, for example, has developed a magnetocaloric refrigerator and is now preparing to scale up production for larger units, intended for high demand industries like supermarkets and data centers. While these units are currently designed for commercial use, they mark an important step in bringing this technology to the public. The idea of magnetocalorics taking over refrigeration technology has sparked a renewed sense of optimism in the scientific community.
As global demand for more sustainable, eco-friendly solutions rises, traditional refrigerants such as HFCs have been gradually phased out in many parts of the world. However, switching to a more environmentally friendly solution has posed several technical challenges, particularly around efficiency, cost and scalability. This is where magnetocalorics could come in as a viable alternative solution. However, the widespread adoption of magnetocaloric cooling still faces several challenges. One of the primary hurdles is the cost. Currently, magnetocaloric systems are more expensive than traditional cooling methods, and the units are typically larger and bulkier than what is needed for household use. For example, the cost of a magnetocaloric chiller can reach around $7,000, putting it out of reach for most consumers. Additionally, while the technology has demonstrated its potential, there is still work to be done to optimize the power density of these systems, the amount of cooling power generated per unit of mass. The Ames National Laboratory team has made strides in addressing these issues. After developing the initial prototype using gadolinium, they began experimenting with a different material, la fessi, lanthanum iron silicon, which has shown the potential to significantly improve the power density of magnetocaloric devices. This change could lead to a reduction in both size and cost, making magnetocaloric cooling more competitive with traditional systems. Additionally, by fine-tuning the process of aligning permanent magnets and adjusting the number of AMR beds, researchers have been able to improve the overall efficiency of the system. These improvements could eventually make magnetocaloric cooling devices smaller, more affordable, and more practical for everyday use. Despite these challenges, the potential benefits of magnetocaloric cooling are vast. Not only could this technology replace harmful refrigerants, but it could also provide a more efficient and environmentally friendly alternative to current systems. The key to making this a reality lies in further advancements in materials, science and engineering. As researchers continue to explore new materials and refine the design of magnetocaloric systems, this technology will likely become more affordable and accessible to a wider range of consumers. Another important advantage of magnetocalorics over other caloric cooling methods, such as elastocalorics, is its longevity. Elastocaloric systems, while efficient, suffer from the limitation of shorter lifespans due to the mechanical stress applied to the materials. Magnetocaloric systems, on the other hand, have the potential to operate for decades without degradation. This makes them a more reliable option for long-term use. Furthermore, magnetocalorics benefit from the growing demand for rare earth metals, which are used in a variety of industries, including renewable energy, further increasing their potential for mass adoption. The applications of magnetocalorics extend beyond household refrigeration. In fact, the technology could have a transformative effect on several industries, particularly those requiring large-scale cooling, such as the food industry, pharmaceuticals, and data centers. For instance, supermarkets could benefit from magnetocaloric refrigeration units that use significantly less energy than traditional cooling systems, resulting in lower operational costs and a reduced carbon footprint. Similarly, magnetocaloric cooling could be integrated into energy-intensive processes, such as cooling large-scale servers or sensitive medical equipment, ensuring a more sustainable approach to industrial refrigeration. As the world continues its shift toward cleaner, more sustainable energy solutions, the need for refrigerants that are both effective and eco-friendly becomes more pressing. Magnetocaloric cooling offers a promising solution to this problem, providing an alternative to traditional refrigerants that can help reduce the impact of refrigeration on the environment. The ultimate goal is to create a system that is not only efficient and reliable, but also accessible to the average consumer. In conclusion, magnetocaloric cooling is a revolutionary technology that could transform the way we think about refrigeration. While it is still in the early stages of commercialization, ongoing research and development are making it increasingly likely that magnetocaloric systems will become a mainstream solution in the near future. With the potential to replace harmful refrigerants, offer higher efficiency, and reduce environmental impact, magnetocaloric cooling could become a key player in the global push for more sustainable technologies. The question remains, 
Will magnetocalorics become the next major advancement in refrigeration, or will other technologies outpace it? Only time will tell. However, one thing is certain. The race to redefine how we cool our world is on, and magnetocaloric cooling might just hold the key to the future of refrigeration.